Hello everybody and welcome back to Complicated Relationships Reddit Stories. Hope you guys are safe and healthy. Now let's see what the story is about today. In today's story, OP says his wife doesn't get to occupy his mind or heart anymore and he'll do work on himself and recouple with her when he's ready. My wife of almost 7 years has been seeing her co-worker she's been friends for a long time since before she met me. She says it was just emotional and they only kissed but they all say that. The night I found out she came home from work unusually late like a couple of hours. She clearly had been drinking. No text, no nothing, which led to a number of questions and she admitted she had gone out after work with some co-workers for a couple of drinks. I'd have no problem with that if she'd let me know that was her plan. For some reason I pressed a little further and it turns out that it was just one guy and this kind of thing had been going on with them for years. I suspected a couple of times that she had been drinking when she came home but decided not to press on it. Finally, she confessed that not only she was seeing someone else, she was in love with him. She said she only allowed her to develop those feelings for him recently because she felt lonely. To be honest, I had been somewhat emotionally distant and irritable mostly because of my work and some health issues. But I figured those things out a couple of months prior to her leaving and I have addressed my own issues. I feel much better now and I am much more fun and available to her than I was before. I just think it's too little too late. I got the dreaded I love you but I'm not in love with you speech. She grabbed some things and left the house that same night she let the news drop. I was shell shocked to say the least. Didn't get any sleep and I was a zombie at work for the next few days. She insisted that we keep meeting at neutral places to have a drink and walk the dog. This was before the lockdown. She did seem want to stay connected. After about 2 weeks, she showed up back at the house again. The visit was to have a video marriage counseling session with our therapist, which I guess was going to be the exit session. Then she was going to head back to wherever she was going. After the session, we had a nice talk and she said that she wanted to move back home and try again. I had some issues with that. thinking that something probably fell through for her either logistically financially or with this other guy and i was plan b she insisted that was not the case i was plan a and that's what she wanted again i bet they all say that she had been living with her sister and brother-in-law who had their own separation they are back together now and stronger than ever apparently that had a big influence on my wife She had already put a deposit down on an apartment, hired movers and set a move date. It doesn't really get more checked out than that. Then suddenly she wants to try again. Within a space of 15 minutes, she got out of the lease, cancelled the movers and told the other guy that she wanted just to be friends again. The guy texted her back and said that he couldn't do the friends thing and they have to just be colleagues. My wife started crying hysterically when she read that. What could I do? I just comforted her the best I could. Which brings me to the point of this story. We are pretty much on lockdown because of the pandemic. I work from home anyway, so my wife and I have been spending a lot of time together. Everything seems 91% normal, but no real intimacy yet. It's really odd because we had a really strong chemistry together. Now that seems like it has been shut off like a faucet. My wife is in her mid 50s. And I think she's either peri or full menopausal. Maybe that's got something to do with it. We have been coming up with fun things to do together, and it's pretty much like hanging out with a good friend. She may well be riding out the pandemic in a comfortable, familiar space with someone she knows who loves her. Once the lockdown is lifted, we could be right back in the same boat. I know that my causes and contribution to the state of affairs have been or are being addressed. I know that I will not be a stressor at least like I was. I also know that I cannot control her, her emotions or her behaviors. I don't want to be that guy who interrogates her every time she walks in or walks out the door. I'm pretty good in acting casual, but inside my heart is racing. I could chalk it up to my own insecurities, but she gave me a reason for it. 
The thing is, I love her very much and she says that she loves me too. Not the in love part, but she says we may be getting there again. My gut is telling me to hang in there, keep working on me, be loving, kind and affectionate, but also masculine and confident. Most of all, do not be a lap dog. I want this marriage, but I want it to be 100%. To trust or not to trust, that is the big question. Edit. I have come to realize that every word that comes out of this person's mouth is either a lie or half truth. Also come to realize that this affair of hers is significant and I'm being used as a pot in a storm. Since we are married, I likely have no right to ask her to leave again, but I think I can convince her to do it anyway. I cannot move on if she is still around. This is not the person I thought I married and she in no way deserves me. I can be a slow emotional processor, but I'm pretty clear now. I'm going to do the work on myself and then decide whether I want to try this relationship stuff again. End of part 1. We have three updates on this story. Let's get into update number 1. Well, as expected, she's gone again. She says she simply cannot stay away from this guy. I know that was true because she has started a new therapy sessions that only takes about 30 minutes but she'd be gone for hours. She said she just wanted to do her thing and have some me time. I saw through that BS immediately. Her sessions were about halfway to where this dude lives. It doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure it out. Last Friday, I finally decided I was done. had a counseling session and i realized that i had to sack up and tell her to go and there are no third chances i've come to realize that she in no way deserves me and i'm hoping the relationship with the new dude turns into a train wreck she doesn't get to occupy my head or my heart anymore i'll do work on myself and recouple when i'm ready for now it's just pulling out of the marriage coma that i've been in for the last 6 years For anyone out there whose gut is telling them that there is something wrong in their relationship, there is at least a 90% chance that you're right. My gut was 100% accurate. If you want to save your relationship, get out in front of the issues. My wife and I did not do that and now we are done. Update 2. So, my soon to be ex-wife have truly been apart for several weeks now. We tried a brief reconciliation for about a couple of weeks, but that was just making things worse. She was at home physically, but clearly still checked out emotionally, and that was spiking my anxiety. So, she left again. She found herself a small place and has been slowly moving out. I went to visit my mom in another state to get my head together and not witness the carnage. I'm doing both traditional counseling and life coaching. I asked them both about NC thing. They both recommended it, but go with what you think you can handle. I can't really say that I'm feeling strong enough to yet slam the door, even though I know I should. Our contact is actually minimum, couple of text messages a day. They are not affectionate really, just updates. Need to keep a track of our dog. For those who slammed the door and went full NC, did it help? And for those who kept in touch, Did that just prolong the hurt? If you'd ask me even a week ago, I dare say there's a 10% chance that I just cut her off. Now, I'm hovering around 50-50. It's really not about getting over the love part. That's happening quicker than I expected. It just that the daily contact, although limited, I'm addicted to that. I'm just interested in people's experience with full NC. How did you guys decide to finally slam the door shut for good? We have come to the last update of the story. It has been a couple of weeks. The last time I saw her was about 10 days ago, basically to take some things from the house and to spend some time with the dog. She was acting completely indifferent towards me and it made me angry. I had already been planning on requesting no contact, but wasn't sure I could go through with it. We had been pretty close and definitely codependent. Her attitude just made it easier for me to shut down all contacts. She immediately came up with a two-week period of NC. I had been thinking of more in terms of, when I get around to it, I'll text you, but don't hold your breath. So, I said sure, but very, very little sincerity. The NC period wasn't supposed to end until this Wednesday. 
It was actually going to be much longer than that, but that would be unknown to her. I did agree to talk to her today only because she said please twice. So, it might actually be something important that might transcend what's happening with the relationship. Maybe something about her daughter. Call is supposed to happen in less than an hour. It's been really difficult, but I think NC situation has finally started to help me heal. I still feel bad most of the time, but I know I'm getting stronger. Call turned out to be a relative of hers that I had gotten pretty close with. She's having health issues and she was asking about me. It was a brief chat. She said she didn't want to call me without asking permission because she wanted to respect my NC request as much as possible. I thanked her for the info and again requested NC. She agreed. Case closed. Thank you all for listening. End of the story. Please like, comment and share the video if you enjoyed it. Also, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so you will be notified when we upload the next video. Take care.